Hey everybody, welcome back to another video from Breezy Organization. If you're new here, we talk about all things digital planning on our, well, on my iPad and pencil, although this does work on several different devices. And if you'd like to try before you buy, you can go to our website at breezyorganization.com, download a free notes planner and some stickers to try out on your device. So welcome here to all of our new people and welcome back to all of our loyal customers. Thank you guys so much for joining us again today. We have some really, really fun releases for you guys and I can't wait to show you guys. I will say that if you are a shop owner and you are watching this video, um, please, 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 you can take inspiration from what we come out with here in the shop, but please don't copy exactly what we do, um, pretty much exactly what I do. Um, I actually don't look on Etsy or anybody else's shops to get ideas, everything that we have. We don't buy commercial license for big things and then resell them to people. Um, everything is hand drawn, handmade, hand thought out through Breezy Organization. And I am doing this all by myself. I do have somebody that helps me a little bit with Instagram. And I have um, a couple of really awesome ladies that help me draw some stickers. Um, but other than that, everything creative, what stickers are drawn, what packs are come out with, um, all the different ideas, trips and tricks, all of that is just me. <laughs> and I'm um, a stay at home homeschool mom of two. And so I would just ask that you please be respectful and not just outright copy any of our work that we do. Um, I actually don't get on Etsy and stuff to look around at other people's stuff because A, I don't want to be accused of copying other people's stuff. And B, um, it gets frustrating if you see some people that's um, you know, copying you identically. Um, but I do have a lot of customers that send me stuff and I'm glad that you guys are looking out for me. I really appreciate it. But, um, just, just to throw it out there, I don't really want to put it on the video and I debated about even doing this, but if you are watching this video and you're a shop owner, please either don't watch the video or don't copy it. Exactly. I'd really, really appreciate it. Okay. So getting on with the video here, we do have some new stuff for you guys. Some really cool things. If you've already purchased some things for us, that's going to kind of work with this set that we have for you guys today. So I'm really excited to show you and we're just going to get right into it today. Oh, actually, no, I do want to say one more thing. I'm having a horrible time deciding which planner to use and it's February. <laughs> and so I keep switching back and forth between um, this one and my my portrait that I'm going to show you here in just a minute because I've already got some March stuff laid out for portrait. But I've literally been doing the same like spreads the same weeks in both planners and I really got to decide which one I want to use. Um, for my iPad mini, I kind of almost like the portrait better because it just gives it more space and it's bigger. Anyways, I don't have to go through all of that. You guys don't want to sit around and hear all of that, but let me know down below if you guys are still having trouble deciding exactly which planner you want to use. Um, this was my spread for this week. I really liked it. I did a few things different. I added, um, I added some different recipes and stuff that we tried and just made it a little bit different for this week. So that was a lot of fun. Um, and then we're getting into our release. So this is the third Sunday. That means we are coming out with next month's, at least is what I always try to do, come out with next month's sticker release. So next month is March and we have all kinds of March goodies for you guys. So let's go ahead and get into the March stickers. Okay, here they are, the beautiful March stickers. We've got Borders, Picnic Adventures, a beautiful picnic basket, kite, Hello March, Floral House, a uh, really cute truck again, the spring, the sweet tea is everything. I love that. Raised on sweet tea and Jesus, and it says hashtag country girl. And then you have a fox with some flowers and a bird, and farmer's market and birdhouse, and these cute decor with this lovely chair. And then you have a tassel banner, March plans, a little girl riding her bike, don't forget florals, um, some tall flowers down here. Hello spring, a really big tree. You'll notice you have two of these. One of these has a white background and one has um, a see-through background. So depending on what you like the looks on that. Um, this really cute cow blowing some bubble gum, which is really, really cute. Uh, butterfly, lots and lots of spring stuff for you to help with your planning. I love how this set turned out. It's so beautiful. And I always like getting you guys some spring stuff a little bit before it actually hits spring. So you've got plenty of time to decorate with them. So we're really, really excited how these turned out. They're so cute. I love the fox. He's probably my favorite. That and the farmer's market uh, bag. I absolutely love that. We already had March stickers in the shop. So these are going to be March stickers 2022. So everybody that's new can tell, you know, what year they released and all of that sort of thing. So they're going to be named in years from um, here on out. Okay, so back to an empty spread here. I am going to zoom in on this page and show you guys um, some of the March 
uh, sticker quotes that we have. So we have three releases today. We have March Shapes, March Sticker Quotes, Widget Quotes, and we have um, March Stickers. So our quotes, you get eight different quotes. So this one's really cute. It says, hey, spring, hurry up. So they fit in these little widget boxes down here at the bottom. And then we have just one that says March. And then I love this one. This one says, Mar it has a grid background. It says March chapter three of 12 because there's 12 months. I thought that was really cute. And then we have the same saying, raised on sweet tea and Jesus, hashtag country girl, which I think the one that I was actually selling with this is in white. So this will probably be white writing. I didn't switch that out yet. And then we have one that just says spring, hello spring in the background. I love that. You can layer stuff on top of that one. And then we have spring is in the air. And then we have this one, which is really pretty that says spring and it has a really cute background. And then we have this one that you can also put your own quote in the middle. You can type, do some right or white typing in the middle um, or put anything on it. So really, really pretty, just floral, empty um, box there for you guys to use in lots of different ways. So that's a look at those. They turned out really, really cute. And then last, but certainly not least, is the March Shapes Pack. So in February, we used to come out with like a pack of insects frames and then we widget quotes and we would do a bunch of different things. And to simplify it, in February, I just came out with February stickers and then February shapes. Um, and then I had February widget quotes. And I'm going to kind of keep that going on because... I'm going to kind of keep that system going on because I think it just makes it less hectic <laughs> um, whenever you have, uh, you know, the washi in this pack and then you have the frames in this pack and sometimes it gets confusing. So we have stickers, shapes, and quotes, and then that's the three categories that we're going to have most months. Um, so that is the stickers and the quotes that I just showed you, and here is a look at our March sticker shapes. So let me explain. This is the fun new customizing part that I could not wait to show you guys that I was talking about on our Facebook group. So we have some lovely frames here with all the floral that matches our sticker set. You get six of those. Um, you get these labels here to put on the frames. You get two um, photo booth type frames here. This one has really lovely like leaves patterns in the background. Happy moments and spring favorites. And then you have three squares here and I'll talk about these in a minute. You have four rectangles, and then you have a mood tracker, focus three, and then you have one, two, three, four, five washies, and then you have oh, just a short, wide rectangle. You have three ovals, and then you have tall um, rectangles. So you can use these lots of different ways. All right, so first off, let's just grab, um, oh my goodness, which one do we want to grab? Let's grab a couple of these, um, and let's go here and paste those and then I'm going to grab this. I'm just gonna grab all of these. Copy. Okay, we're gonna paste those and then let's go ahead and grab, um, go ahead and grab two of these. Okay. Okay. So now I get to show you these. I'm really, really excited to show you guys these. Okay, so we basically have these shapes here. We have a tall rectangle, we have three um, ovals, and then uh, this is what I'm calling oval, um, and then two squares, and then we have these wider rectangles. Okay, so you can use these for lots of different ways. You can, let's turn this sideways, you can simply have them to be notes and you know you could just write don't forget and you can't read that but anyways and then just write something on there and it's really cute it has this really cute fox in the background everything's going off of the page this one has the tassel the chair and these are just adorable with the half fox and the half cow really really cute just to write down some notes okay but you can actually use them for one more thing I don't know if you noticed or not, but our color changing widgets are in just a couple of different shapes. There's like four different shapes mainly that we used and you can use these with this new March shape pack and I'm really excited about this. Um, okay, so this would be a tall rectangle. So this would be like the um, shopping bag, the flowers or the cow. Um, these would be the square. The appointment would be the square. Any of these weathers would be the square. All of these would be the oval. 
this would be the oval and then these would be the wide rectangles and these would be the tall rectangles if that makes sense what you may not have noticed is these are actually stickers on top of your shapes um, so you can totally use these separate than the shape so to do that hit the lasso tool and turn off everything except for images leave images toggled on um, and say we want to use this little fox here and we are going to grab this um, mood tracker so we're going to lasso this and copy it and then we're going to move it over here and i've made these to where these fit exactly your um color changing planner stickers they will fit exactly with these new shapes that we have over here that way you can match each month and have these adorable adorable characters it's so cute i just love it i have been playing around with this so much because um i just love the little backgrounds and we're starting to use these a lot along with the widgets and stuff down at the bottom and um i absolutely love the way that it turned out so all of these will just fit right on there and you talk about making a spread really really cute that's adorable <laughs> i love it with a little fox in the background it's so cute it just makes you want to fill it out um and you can be like really strategic with it too so you can copy this and this is going to be a tall rectangle so it's going to fit on these so then if we hit paste you could put it on like grocery bag right because this is a menu so you're just going to kind of match up this line here and then you can fill out your little shopping list um and then we can go over to the next page and we can grab any of these so let's grab like a little packing list and the packing list can go on the cow okay and then you can just fill out that it is just so cool i absolutely love it you have this habit tracker if you ever want to move one that's on top of one of these you just hit the image tool and then you can just click it and you can move the one that is on top so like say if we want to change this up put the packing list over here and then put the habit tracker over here on the cow now that is really really cute i love the way that that turned out and then the same thing goes for all of these so we can copy over let's see we can do the cleaning one with the chair because that's kind of house and cleaning stuff so that one will go right on there and you can see the chair in the background Ooh, we can do uh the weather see these are really fun to play with and you can switch them up so like if you want to record the weather you don't have to do the fox every day you could do some of the solid color ones and change the color and then you could do some you know animal ones or the tassel one but look i mean it looks like it's raining on the poor little fox <laughs> that's so cute though but like i said you can use these for like little memos or you can totally put stuff on there so Let's copy the expense one over and show you what it looks like. I love the way that these turned out. So that is how you're going to look at these. If they are like these squares here and then the tall rectangle, um, the only ones that we didn't make anything for would be like these uh, meeting ones because you just change the color on those. They don't really need a background. The reminder we didn't um, because it was just one that was that shape. Um, and then the uh, menstrual tracker, we did not either. But the, um, the bill one is on there. The bill one is on there it will fit on this and you can actually make the reminder one work on that one as well if you um cut off like the top and the bottom like where it's angled at if you hit the image icon and then hit crop and then cut off where it's angled at and then squish it in just a tiny 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 bit you can make that reminder one work too so there's definitely ways that you can play around with it to make it um lots more fun so i mean options right it gives you so many options uh, you get all of these different color shapes you can use whichever stickers or uh, insert widgets on top of them and make the cutest spread so i'm going to be making my weekly spread here on the screen for you guys to watch i do want to show you my march month um, i actually didn't have just a whole lot to put on my calendar yet for this month um, but i wanted to kind of show you how it turned out so i have this really cute fox down here at the bottom with the hello spring and then the hey spring hurry up and lots of pictures because I love pictures and then you can tell we've got the um the little labels on top of on top of your um instax pictures there and then just a lot of meetings and stuff that we have the cute little cow 
really, really, really cute. I love this sticker set. So we are going to plan with the sticker set again and with some of those widgets on our weekly spread. So I'm going to fast forward it just a little bit so you don't have to watch it in real time, but maybe give you an idea of how you could use these stickers as well. So let's get planning. Y'all, I got a phone call and after I talked to the person on the phone, I forgot to hit record. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I don't really have time to go back and redo all of it. This is where I'm at so far. I've just now started decorating. Um, so let me just close this out and show you what I have so far. I have my checklist that I have to fill in still and just the basics on there. And then now I'm going to add in a few of the stickers. I am so sorry. Um, I totally thought I was recording and I wasn't. So, okay. So to get on to the rest of this, um, I'm going to open this in split screen like I usually do and then go back here. I haven't put these in my split screen organizer yet, so I'm just kind of working with it here. Okay. Okay, so here is a look at the final spread. I love the way that it turned out. It's way different than what I normally do. I feel like my spreads are a little bit more simplistic. It has the line usually going across and I just 
changed it up a little bit for this week just to try something new. Um, and then I've done these a little bit different at, down here as well. But I'm loving how everything turned out. This is my weekly tracker for my cleaning, my weekly habit tracker. I'm going to keep track of my expenses, um, extra buys that I probably shouldn't be buying. I'm going to keep up and see exactly how much I'm spending every week. Um, and then we had the sleep tracker, which is for um, the whole week. And then... Um, we have the mood tracker. I just do one mood tracker usually for a week and I do like an average. Um, and then I have my main work list is going to be right here. And then I have a don't forget. And then our main menu for the week here. And I have personal checklists throughout the week. I normally don't make myself have like a top three on Sundays and Saturdays because those are really, you know, family days and days that I don't do a whole, whole lot of my work on. Um, I say that as I'm filming here on Saturday, <laughs> but I normally don't. Um, so anyways, and then I have grocery pickup. I use the errands. Um, so a music practice, I have a few things in there and then I have a few decor, decor, you know, things in there as well. So I use the truck and stuff down here at the bottom. I really like the way that this spread came out though. It's really different. So let me know down in the comments down below uh, what you think of these new releases and how adorable these little backgrounds are. I mean, I think they absolutely make a spread. They're absolutely adorable. Let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments. And um, this is our release for this week. So we have March stickers 2022. We have March shapes and we have March widget quotes. Um, I do have a widget pack that's done. That's going to be coming out next week um, along with some other really, really fun stuff. So you definitely don't want to miss next week's release. If you're not a part of our Facebook group, we have an awesome group of people over there that share tons of inspiration and ways that you can use our products. We're also on Instagram and TikTok. So there's lots of different ways that you can get tons of inspiration for our products. And I will see you on the next one. Happy planning.